Today, we're embarking on a historical journey to unveil the mysteries surrounding the world's very first library. Let's delve into this captivating chapter of history as we explore the library of Ashurbanipal in Nineveh. Our story begins around the 7th century BCE in ancient Mesopotamia, where the Assyrian king Ashurbanipal commissioned a remarkable repository of knowledge, now famously known as the Library of Ashurbanipal. The Library of Ashurbanipal stands as a pioneering institution, often considered the earliest known library in the world. Located in the Assyrian capital of Nineveh, this illustrious library housed an extensive collection of over 30,000 cuneiform tablets. Serving as a central hub for scholars, it laid the foundation for future libraries and became a beacon of intellectual pursuit, fostering a spirit of curiosity and discovery. These clay tablets, inscribed with wedge-shaped characters, formed a diverse collection encompassing literature, science, history, and more. Picture yourself surrounded by the collective wisdom of the ancient world as you peruse through texts like the Epic of Gilgamesh or delve into scientific and administrative knowledge. The variety of subjects covered in the library showcased the multifaceted interests and inquiries of the people of that time, making it a comprehensive resource for ancient scholarship. What makes the library of Ashurbanipal truly unique is its multilingual and multicultural nature. It accommodated texts in various languages, including Akkadian, Sumerian, Babylonian, reflecting the vibrant tapestry of ancient Mesopotamian cultures and fostering a rich environment of intellectual exchange. The library not only served as a repository of knowledge but also as a cultural melting pot where diverse perspectives converged. Scholars from different linguistic backgrounds coexisted, contributing to a unique fusion of ideas and learning. King Ashurbanipal, often dubbed the Scholar King, played a pivotal role in the library's growth. His royal patronage emphasized the value placed on education and knowledge. This patronage ensured that the library became a beacon for scholars and scribes from diverse backgrounds. The king's personal interest in the library also extended to his active involvement in collecting and preserving the knowledge of his time. His influence not only secured the library's legacy but also set a precedent for rulers and leaders recognizing the importance of preserving intellectual heritage. The library of Ashurbanipal wasn't just a relic of the past. Buried beneath the ruins of Nineveh for centuries, it was rediscovered in the 19th century during archaeological excavations led by Austin Henry Layard. The treasures unearthed during these excavations, now housed in various museums, provide us with a tangible link to our ancient intellectual heritage. The rediscovery sparked a renewed interest in ancient civilizations and opened a window into the sophisticated knowledge systems of the past. Scholars and archaeologists continue to study these artifacts, revealing new insights into the intellectual pursuits and cultural practices of ancient Mesopotamia. In a nutshell, that's the fascinating tale of the world's first library, a testament to the value placed on knowledge and education in ancient times. If you found this historical exploration intriguing, do give us a like, share, and subscribe for more captivating journeys through time.